Hello, my friend. Uh, finally, I watched this movie called uh, Beautiful Mind. Uh, this movie actually was recommended by several of my professor, my friends. Uh, they they told me absolutely you're gonna love it. Yeah, uh, I finally got time to watch it last night. Tell you the truth, yes, I absolutely love it. Um, there's one part of the movie scene I want to share with you, and actually inspired me thinking for the whole day, including when I was fishing today. Um, well, remember one part um, before the movie introducing the Nash Equilibrium? It's a theory. Um, what this theory was about is um, it. It's basically an extension of uh, Adam, Adam Smith's Invisible Hands. So remember in the bar, uh, John's friends were discussing one theory called Invisible Hands. So one of his friends says, Hey John, you know what? Adam Smith was right. Reason why? Because if every single one of us fought for our self-interest, it's good for the common goal. The reason why they were talking about this, because in the bar they saw a whole bunch of girls enter into the bar. Everyone focused on this specific girl with blonde hair. Um, but John Nash did some analyzing, said, look, if every one of us fought for this blonde girl, we're gonna block each other. And every single one of us gonna be fail and then all of us gonna fight for this blonde girl's friends so no girls won't be a second choice of course every single one of us gonna go home with nothing so John Nash also says yes Adam Smith was right everybody fought for their self-interest it's good for a common goal but also if every single one of us ignore the blonde girl just to talk to their friends, then every single one of us is gonna go home with someone eventually. I thought, you know what, this theory was really, really interesting. Um, if you actually take economics um, or even statistic class, so this is not simply a pickup artist you watch on. Uh, keys to VIPs or a reality show like that. This is actually scientific. Um, well, give you an example here. Um, I, I was thinking about what happened recently in BC. Uh, we just had an election. Uh, all the polling indicate that BC Liberal going to fail miserably. Some polling even suggests that BC NDP gonna lead for twenty percent. Um, during the elect during the three weeks election com campaign, um, I'm pretty sure there's some mathematicians or sociologists or a statistic scientists behind the BC Liberal. They have the very disciplined campaign. Remember what Christy Clark. BC Liberals uh, leader even suggest to their own party member don't use my uh, leader figures in your uh, long long sign so every single writing every single district for your own fight for your own interests yes that's Adam Smith's invisible hands right everyone fought for your interests we're gonna win the common goal but in the extensions what Chris, what Christy Clark did was very smart. She didn't go head to head with NDP leader Adrian Dix in district like Victoria, like urban Vancouver. Rather than she focused on the suburban area like Richmond, like Surrey, like Kamloops, Kelowna, Norris, Prince George. Because she probably had had a mathematician who can tell you, okay, if you won, blah blah blah, this several district, regardless, even you don't fight for the 
sent off the war like Victoria or Vancouver, downtown Vancouver, you still can win the election. So guess what? She actually won the majority. Um, so another uh, another thing got me thinking about this Nash equilibrium is what is risk? You know, why do we have an insurance broker take down your lifestyle, take down your number, age, what kind of stuff you do? Like, do you do kiteboarding? Do you do? Do you smoke? How old are you when you have kids? Something like that, and give you a insurance premium. And every single one of us has different risk factors. Every single one of us have different insurance premium. You know, this is very, very revolution things, actually done by Dutch. Remember when back in the 15th century when Dutch first discovered Indonesia, who has the best technology into exploration or expedition across the ocean? That's Dutch people. With experience, they understand, you know what? The risk is not controlled by the God. Even though our insurance term love to say it's out of God. But in series, it's all mathematics. Because the ability to measure risk made your modern business possible. So in order for an investor in United Provinces, it's modern day of uh, Netherlands, for them to make money, use, math use mathematician to give you a statistic to quantify your human activity so people can assume bad things were simply a result of bad luck. It's over. You know, for people to understand the pros probability, then you can make money. So, next time when you go into the bar, think this movie, A Beautiful Mind. Okay? <laughs> so, play your own game series. So, I mean, this is all related, right? Consider the probability of loss before you make any move, any rational people can justify this, okay? People who can tell you, oh, you don't need to calculate the probability. Just do whatever the best for your people. And politician and business, this is not gonna be success. I'm not gonna debate with right or left, right or wrong. If you wanna go into a war, if you wanna go to the business to make money, all you have to do, you have to think the prob probability. You have to do Nash equi Equilibrium. So that this is the best thing I've ever learned from the movie. Okay, have a good night. Thanks.